Well, hello, and welcome to this Autodesk Manufacturing Live broadcast. My name's Clinton Perry, and you're joining me today on Thursday, the 20th of October, what, 2.30 in the afternoon, on a fantastic sunny afternoon in Birmingham. Um, I'm hoping that uh, you're here to, to learn a little bit about Autodesk, uh, transitions between Delcam and Autodesk, but I'm also going to give you a little bit of an insight into some of the activities that we've got going on here at the moment. So, if I just turn around, you can see I'm stood here at uh, Autodesk's manufacturing facility in Birmingham. For those of you that are unfamiliar with English geography, this facility is uh, about a two-hour drive north of, uh, of London. Uh, this facility we've occupied now for just over 25 years. Uh, it's the former home of Delcam. So hopefully many of you will be familiar with Delcam, the company. Some of you will be customers of ours and already using our software. Thank you very much for joining us today. It's much appreciated. So as I say, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about today. First one is a, an update in terms of what's happening here between Delcam and Autodesk. Then, we, then we'll, uh, we'll move on to some of the activities that we're doing here. So this is the former Delcam headquarters. Um, and for those of you that may or may not know, back in February 2014, Autodesk actually acquired Delcam. Um, and so that acquisition process has taken a little bit of time. But as of the 1st of August 2016, so just a couple of months back, Delcam became a fully integrated part of the Autodesk family. So the staff that you see here, the software that we've been developing over all of the years, all of the assets that Delcam has are now part of that big Autodesk family. And we're really excited about the future. So what, happen, what happens in this facility? Well, as well as the normal sales, marketing, HR, finance activities, we've got three of Ma Autodesk manufacturing crown jewels in this facility. So the first one is our customer support. So this is where you guys can call us in the UK to get technical assistance and using our software. The second crown jewel we've got here is our software development team. So this building, and in particular the floors just over my left shoulder, right, left, who knows, uh, we've got hundreds of development staff here working on all of the products that you guys are used to using over the years. So this building we've got Autodesk Power Mill, Autodesk Power Shape, Power Inspect, Feature Cam, Part Maker, Art Cam, all of those core manufacturing software tools that you guys have been using for years. Now the third crown jewel, the crown jewel that I hope you're most interested in today, is Autodesk's Advanced Manufacturing Facility, or AMF. And I'm hoping that we're going to go in there now and have a little look around, see what we're doing, give you an insight into some of the daily activities that the AMF facility carries out every single day of the week. Let's just pop through the reception. So... Nicely refurbished facilities. Let's just head on down to the AMF. Okay. Hi, right, so I'm joined here by my friend and colleague Nick Hill. Uh, so Nick's going to hopefully take us around uh, the advanced manufacturing facility. Get us, yeah. Give us an insight, see what's going on. Sure. You're welcome. I mean, have you got any uh, safety glasses? Yeah, so um, like I say, latest state-of-the-art five-axis machine tools. We've got some robotics here as well. Uh, we provide manufacturing services, so essentially we make things for our customers. Okay. Um, who are our customers? Uh, we work with our internal group, the Auto Autodesk Advanced Consulting Team. We also work with our external customers as well, so those are also our software customers. So when our software customers have got capacity issues of their own, they look to us to try and fill those gaps and we'll take on work for them. Okay, cool. So what's this machine we're looking at now? So this is a, a DMU 160p uh, monoblock. Uh, it's a full five axis machine tool. It's a head table configuration, so it's probably a little bit different to what other people have seen before. Uh, we're currently just uh, breaking down, we're getting ready to set up for some testing that we're going to be doing on here. Uh, it's, a, it's a quite powerful 10,000 10, kilowatts, uh, sorry, 10,000 RPM spindle. Uh, it's a Siemens 840D control. And what kind of parts are we generally machining on this, Nick? Um, parts, 
quite wide and varied. I mean, they say, they say our customer base is also quite wide and varied, some from automotive to aerospace. So we've done structural guide vanes on here, we've done fan sheets on here, we've done all sorts of aerospace work like that. And only this week we had a, a punch on here for a press tour for an automotive customer. Okay. So now this machine is quite a bit smaller. What, what's this machine? What does it do? Okay, so this is uh, Mazak Very Active. It's actually the granddaddy in the shop. Uh, it's around about 16 years old, but it's still as accurate as when it was new. Um, it's a full five axis machine, it's a table table configuration, and it's something like 24,000 spindle. Um, but I say we run uh, regular test pieces on all our machines in here, and on this one, even though it's 15, 16 year old, it's still as good as the day it was new. Okay, so there's a lot of software testing on that yeah, machine there. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, besides manufacturing or making stuff, we also do a lot of work with our marketing teams and also our software development teams as well. So, for example, that is down here on our little uh, Huron VX12. It's a standard three axis machine. Uh, but what we're actually doing here is we're preparing a, 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 a sample a test piece for Autodesk University, which is taking place in, in November. So uh, we're preparing here and then next week we're going to be filming this with the marketing teams and it's showing the process that we're going through to make this cover plate. Okay, so we're using a bit of feature cam here by the looks of it, programming this part. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Can I have a look at the, in the machine, see what's going on? Sure. So at the moment they've uh, just prepped the back and they're going to be using probing within the feature cam software there to probe the, uh, the bores. Cool, excellent. Okay, what else? What else can we see? Okay, so we go down into the high bay area now. Um, we've got our, our largest machine here in the workshop here. It's a Huron KX200. It's a, a full five axis machine again. It's a, what we call a head head machine. So you've got two axes on the head. Uh, it's got a 3.3 meter capacity in the X and around about 1700 in the Y. Uh, again, another one has got 10,000 RPM spindle. You can remove a lot of material with this machine. So at the moment we've got a, a punch on here for an automotive customer. It's actually a rear quarter, uh, rear quarter window punch. Okay. The customer. That's a piece of the machine. It's an absolute monster, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those machines that's always busy because of the size and everything else. We, we can always get yeah, our customers love it. And we got one last CNC machine down here. What's, yeah. what's this one? What's it doing? Okay, so this is our Hermley C50 UMT. It's uh, against another 4-5 axis machine. It's another table-table configuration. Okay. Uh, again, it's got Siemens A40 control on it. But this, uh, the unique thing about this machine is we can also do turning on oh, this okay. machine as well. Yeah. Okay. So in the past, we've manufactured blisks on here, so we can actually turn and mill on the same platform. Okay. Uh, we've got Nathan here at the moment who's uh, working on the machine. He's actually, we've got a, we've got a, there's an Autodesk product called Fusion Connect. And what Nathan's doing at the moment is seeing what data we can get out of the machine tool and then how we can display it up graphically on, on, on the PCs. Okay, so you're able to explain a little bit more, Nathan, what, what's going on here? Yeah, so using our Fusion Connect product, uh, we're able to gather some of the data that's currently live on the machine tool, so things like temperatures, um, feed rate overrides, what programs are running, what mode we're currently in, and we can stream that data live from the machine tool into our Fusion Connect product. And the idea being that you can see also from anywhere in the world, either on your phone or on a PC or a remote PC, exactly what's happening on your shop floor for your machines. I could also get a historical log of everything that's gone on with that machine as well. So for instance, I've just set the feed rate override to 50% on here, and we're currently running a program called Check Form, for instance. Then take a walk across here. What you'll see is on my dashboard here we can look and view that our Hermley now is set at 50% feed rate override and we can see what jobs are currently on here and then you'll see some of the charts and the historical information that we've been gathering as well. So, really interesting project uh, and very central to the IoT strategy that we have. Fantastic, well, that's amazing. Wonderful, thank you very much for that, Nathan. Oh, well, okay. Um, so, I mentioned we do robotics as well. Um, We've got uh, three robot cells here. We've got a, a, a Funic uh, robot uh, polishing cell. We've also got a, a Gomata scan box, which is uh, an automated scanning uh, system in the robot. We've also got a wire additive manufacturing cell. So uh, we're going to have a look at that. Oh, I'm cool. going to show you what we're doing on there. Cool. Uh, just, just out of interest, yeah. what, what's this over here? What, uh, what's that? The, uh, the spider. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. Um, it's featured quite prominently in our history, and oh, okay. uh, we kind of. We don't talk about that too much nowadays. Okay, okay, so but yeah. we're not talking about it anymore now, guys. Okay, we're not talking about the spider.
Oh, okay, so, let's crack on. Come on, this way. Uh, yeah, so I mentioned the wire additive manufacturing cell. So this is another take on additive manufacturing. Uh, using an LED robot with a Fronius welding torch on there. And, uh, these are the guys here at the moment working on this, uh, this particular development project that we're doing. Kelvin? Hi. Hi, Kelvin. How are you doing? Good. good. How are you guys? Yeah, good. Can you tell us a little bit about the machine? What, what's it doing? What, what's it all about? Um, we are trying to 3D print. Okay. And so we use the old technology like welding, and we use it to make um, new parts. We to learn how the process works. For example, we use it to make new components. So from okay. nothing, we're starting with a big block. Yeah. We're going to just deposit only what we need. Okay. And then it back. So you've got some examples down here. Do you want yeah, to explain so a little a bit? Yeah. So we've just played around with it, trying to make as good as well as possible. So we've got parts like this where we're just making down, laying down wells. Okay. Making nice walls like this one, for example. And the idea is when we know how to control the process, how to control the welding parameters, the heat, we can better produce geometry. And okay. so from that we go from this shape and produce something like this big. But this is sort of this is got what we term as sort of a, a complete workflow where we're making a component from, from CAD design. Okay. So 3D printing it by welding with the robot. So you get the zero surfaces. Oh yeah, yeah. And then we go back and we machine it to get tolerances correct. Because obviously the surface is very, very rough. Yeah. So to get the actual components, we need to machine back. So, so you get the best of both worlds about it. Exactly, exactly. That's it's it. a true so, hybrid kind of factory. Yeah? yeah, it really is. So we just want to understand how to program these parts, how to get the parameters to work together, how yeah. to make sure we have something that works. Okay. We are developing some software as well to drive the process, to drive the machine, if it's a milling machine or a robot. Okay. Um, behind me here we've got our robots ready to go. Um, if you want to see some welding, you can do oh, yeah, see please. the part itself. Yeah, if we could. Let's have yeah. a look at some welding. Well, uh, I can give us a show, please. Watch so, your eyes. So what's with the red protection, Kelvin? What, what's all this about? Um, the light that comes from the welder is harmful for your eyes. Oh, okay. It is effectively high UV, UV yeah. rays, and it can damage your eyes. It's extremely bright light. It's extended to the sun. Oh, wow. So we wear glasses and shields and masks to put it on our eyes and our skin. Um, so be careful, it's going to hurt. There he goes. Yeah. So this will go for about two minutes or so, and then it will stop. We can go in and have a look. Oh, wow. So this is robot moving, we've got five axis motion, all sorts of crazy stuff going on here. Yeah. Yeah, it's the most complex part we've made so far on the cell. Um, trying to see how far we can push the program in, the geometry, the cell and our know-how. And so far it's been working really well. Uh, it's almost finished I'll open it up for you. Okay, so you say we're driving this with our Autodesk software. Yeah, can we've we got, see some of that? Yeah, we've got power mill over here. Oh, we love power mill. <laughs> Well, I do, anyhow. So this is power shape. This is actually what we are making. This is the actual CAD that we're going to produce. Okay. Um, this is actually what we built. This paint space. Okay. Oh wow! Yeah. That's what we built. And using power mill, we've got the environment of the robot models, and we can yeah. effectively go into this, simulate exactly how the robot is going to move. So if I run a simulation, so what is happening on screen is what you will see on the machine directly. Oh, wonderful. So that's exactly what we're doing. So we're trying to understand um, how far we can push the process and how our software are actually behaving. Yeah, yeah. And so we're going to have a look over there and see the actual part being produced. It's a bit hot. Yeah, I won't be touching it. That's a bit hot. <laughs> so we've just deposited that, that layer of... So this top layer there. Yeah. Uh, we're making this blade as a demonstration part to show, to show workflow. Okay. So we've got over here, it's been only partially built. We have got three, uh, three uh, two thirds built, and these two are fully built. And we're going to machine, partially machine to show how we go from a uh, solid billet yeah. to adding material and then to machine it back to get the real components. So we're going to do that machine in here in this facility? Oh, yes, just behind, behind you actually, there's a machine just waiting for that. Okay, so we're back at uh, the AMF. Sorry about that, we're having a few issues with interference of Wi Fi. Not surprising when you think uh, all the energy that's being thrown out by this device. So. Anyhow, that, that brings this, uh, this live broadcast to an end. Uh, I'm going to say thank you to Nick, to Kelvin, and all of the guys here at Portodesk for their time. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the facility that we've got here, if you'd like to learn more about the Autodesk manufacturing software, or if you've got any other questions about the Autodesk solutions that we provide, I recommend that you visit our website, 
to go to www.autodesk.com slash make, M-A-K-E. You'll learn an awful lot more about the software and the services that we've got. Uh, if you've enjoyed this webcast, give us a thumbs up. If you hated it, nah, put some comments on the feed and hopefully we can do better next time around. Other than that, the last thing is, thank you very much for your time today. Really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you again soon.